Hi, Internet Grandpa here, and we're going to read a Magic Treehouse book. This is the second book in the series, and it's called The Night at Dawn by Mary Pope Osborne. The Night at Dawn, what a strange title. How can it be night at dawn? I thought it was daylight when it got to be dawn. Oh, so there's the contents. The Dark Woods is chapter one. We'll start with that. The Dark Woods. Jack couldn't sleep. He put his glasses on. He looked at the clock. 5.30. Too early to get up. What? That's grandpa get up time. What the heck? That's not too early. Yesterday, so many strange things had happened. Now he was trying to figure them out. He turned on the light. He picked up his notebook. He looked at what the list he'd made before going to bed. Found treehouse in woods. Found lots of books in it. Pointed to Pteranodon picture in book. Made a wish. Went to time of dinosaurs. Pointed to picture of Frog Creek woods. Made a wish. Came home to Frog Creek. Jack pushed his glasses into place. Who is going to believe any of this? Not his mom, or his dad, or his third grade teacher, Mrs. Watkins. Only his seven-year-old sister, Annie. She'd gone with him to the time of the dinosaurs. Can't you sleep? It was Annie standing in his doorway. Nope, said Jack. Me neither, said Annie. What are you doing? She walked over to Jack and looked at his notebook. She read the list. Aren't you going to write down the gold medal, she asked. You mean the gold medallion, said Jack. Gold medal or gold medallion, do you think it makes much difference? I don't, but whatever. He picked up his pencil and wrote, found this in dinosaur time. And he drew a little picture. Aren't you going to put the letter M on the medallion, on the medal, said Andy. Medallion, said Jack, not medal. He added an M. Aren't you going to write about the magic person, said Annie. We don't know for sure there is a magic person, said Jack. Well, someone built a treehouse in the woods. Someone put the books in it. Someone lost a gold medal in the dinosaur time. Medallion, said Jack for the third time. And I'm just writing the facts, the stuff we know for sure. Let's go back to the treehouse right now, said Annie and find if the magic person is a fact. Are you nuts, said Jack? The man, the man, sun's not even up yet. Come on, said Annie, maybe we can catch them sleeping. I don't think we should, said Jack. He was worried. What if the magic person was mean? What if he or she didn't want kids to know about the treehouse? Well, I'm going, said Annie. Jack looked out his window at the dark gray sky. It was almost dawn. He sighed. Okay, let's get dressed. I'll meet you at the back door, but be quiet. Yay, whispered Annie. She tiptoed away as quietly as a mouse. Jack put on jeans, a warm sweatshirt, and sneakers. He tossed his notebook and pencil in his backpack. He crept downstairs. Annie was waiting by the back door. She shined a light, a flashlight in Jack's face. Ta-da, a magic wand, she said. Shh, don't wake up mom and dad, whispered Jack, and turn that flashlight off. We don't want anyone to see us. Annie nodded and turned it off. Then she clipped it on her belt. They slipped out the door into the cool early morning air. Crickets were chirping. The dog next door barked. Quiet, Henry, whispered Annie. Hen Henry stopped barking. Animals always seem to do what Annie said. Let's run, said Jack. They dashed across the dark, wet lawn and didn't stop until they reached the woods. We need the flashlight now, said Jack. Annie took it off her belt and switched it on. Step by step, she and Jack walked between the trees. Jack held his breath. The dark woods were scary. 
Gotcha, said Annie, shining the flashlight in Jack's face. Jack jumped back, then he frowned. Cut it out, he said. I scared you, said Annie. Jack glared at her. Stop pretending, he whispered. This is serious. Okay, okay. Annie shined the flashlight over the tops of the trees. Now what are you doing, said Jack. Looking for the treehouse. The light stopped moving. There it was, the mysterious treehouse, at the top of the tallest tree in the woods. Annie shined her light at the treehouse and then down the tall ladder all the way to the ground. I'm going up, she said. She gripped the flashlight and began to climb. Wait, called Jack. What if someone is in the treehouse? Annie, come back. But she was gone. The light disappeared. Jack was alone in the dark. And that's the end of chapter one. We'll read chapter two next time. I got a request to read more of these Magic Treehouse books. I was told by uh, somebody I know that they really liked them. So we'll try and do, uh, we'll try and keep reading these and go through all of them, maybe, eventually. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Bye-bye. Love you.